Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is April 11th, 2019. It's uh, like 10.30, I think. And um, I am getting induced right now. Uh, I know I said I was going to try to film uh, what's in my hospital bag, but I've been super busy. So, yeah. I'm here now. I just have like been hooked up to IV. Uh, I don't know what's what's going to happen or when she will be here, but she will be here soon, and I'm so excited. Um, so, if you guys don't know, I am being induced because I have cholestasis, so um, it's safe for her to be here earlier. So I am currently 30 seat. 36 weeks and four days pregnant and um, we're just waiting to see what's going on so um, my best friend is going to be here in the labor and delivery and she will be um, changing spots with my mom my mom will be here tomorrow sometime tomorrow and then one of my other friends is coming too my husband will not be here unfortunately for the delivery but he should be making his way down here super soon to meet the baby. Um, I'm super duper nervous just because I'm not ready for the pain, but I am so ready to meet my baby girl. So, yeah, um, right now uh, I did have a C-section with my first baby, so I'm being induced. We're going to try for a vaginal delivery after cesarean. And hopefully it is successful because, uh, I don't know, I'm scared to have another C-section. So we're going to figure out what's going to happen and I'll get back to you guys later on. Um, I'm going to try to record as much as I can. I don't promise I can record a lot because, well, like I said, I'm just here with my friend and my friend is kind of awkward behind the camera. So... Uh, we'll figure it out though, and I'll try to get as much footage as I can. Hey guys, it's me again. It's 12.21 a.m. They put a Foley bulb, I think that's what it's called. It's like a little balloon inside my cervix. Um, that was so painful. They filled it up with like water, and man, it hurt so bad. It's supposed to help my cervix dilate a little bit, and um, I think it's working because I fear contractions, and I feel like every time they come, they're like a little bit stronger, but hopefully that's good, and that means I don't have to have another C-section. I hope I can dilate this time, um, but it is what it is, and we'll just be patient. I'm here with my best friend, like I mentioned earlier. This is my best friend. Say hi. Here is the baby's little bed. It has all the monitors for the baby. It's 3.16 in the morning. And I'm feeling like shit. Oh my god. I'm so tired. So sleepy. Every time I try to close my eyes, a contraction comes stronger, and it's so horrible, but we're trying to work through it. Rennie's here. Uh, we're just trying to go with it. I'm trying to update you guys. It's been, uh, I think, like three or four hours since they put the Foley bulb in there, and the contractions are getting stronger. I actually feel them. I'm really hoping I can dilate and have a successful be back. Oh, yeah guys, I'll check back in with you guys later. There's really not much to show you guys. I mean, I'm practically just contracting in so much pain and I'm tired. But maybe tomorrow we'll check back in and let you guys know 
how it went through the night. Anyways, guys, uh, good night, and I'll see you guys later tomorrow. Well, later today, because it's 3.18 a.m. So, yeah. Hey, guys. Um, it is now April 12, 2019, so it's the next day. Um, it's 12.55 p.m. I just got the fully pulled removed, and thank God, dilated 5 centimeters, and I'm 50% of face, negative 3, so that means she's still up there, she hasn't moved down, I'm not in active labor yet, but we are working on getting there, so the important thing is that I'm, I was able to dilate more with this baby than with my first baby. So there's a possible chance that my VBAC is going to be successful. Um, but yeah, that's a little update I wanted to give you guys. I guess we'll keep updating you guys a little later. It's, it's April 13th, 10.32 in the morning. Um, they took me off of the Pitocin last night because... They checked my cervix and there has been no progress. Uh, I've um, I stayed at five centimeters since yesterday at twelve. Um, so they're trying again today. They put me on pitocin and they uh, picked it up from a two to a six. So um, I'm here with my two friends and my mom. Um, and they're trying to see if I will dilate more. Uh, they just broke my water. And, uh, yeah, so the contractions are going to start getting real because this whole time that I've been here, I've been having contractions, but I haven't been feeling any. I've literally been sleeping through them. So they um, increased the Pitocin so that I can start getting actual contractions and let's just hope that it helps me dilate when the doctor comes back and checks on my cervix again after breaking my water and the pitocin going up um, if I still haven't dilated then we will go into the c-section and if I don't have a c-section then you guys will finish seeing the delivery and if I have a c-section then you guys obviously I won't be able to record in there but I will record the baby and everything so you guys can have a chance to meet her um, anyways that's the update for now uh, I'm gonna go because these contractions are getting real
I just wanna. Love- 